been through this before. That's what makes every time this happens all the more heartbreaking and frustrating. Um, you are someone who's been an advocate uh, for really dealing with the prison overpopulation and 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 getting rid of this thing that we've called the war on drugs. And you've talked a lot about gun control. Uh, I, I'd like to understand uh, for you when this has happened in the past. How do you deal with that moment of where you're at right now, which is what's the point? We can't do anything to here's what we do. Here's how I advocate. Here's how I use my voice and 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 try to push for something. You know, I I I would like to say that I have some uh, reservoir of of hope that I was able to go to this morning, but I actually sat in the car outside my office for about 20 minutes and just didn't even feel like getting out of the goddamn car. Um, the the images of those children in Texas. Um, and it, it brought me back yesterday. Um, it brought me back to remembering uh, Newtown, Newtown a, um, a decade earlier. And I, I remembered that I had written something on my blog and I went back and read it, which was probably a mistake because every damn phrase that I, that I put down in words about what I was feeling 10 years ago could be repeated with precision right now. Nothing has changed. Nothing. Um, and I linked to a piece by Gary Wills. I'm sure you may have seen it before, uh, mm -hmm. uh, in which he invokes the American God, which is not Yahweh. Yeah, well, it's Moloch. You know, we we sacrifice our children in the name of uh, in the name of firearms, in the name of our ballistic love. Um, I reread Gary Wills's great essay on this, which he wrote even before Newton, and which I had linked to in that in that in that blog item, which is still up. And by the end of it, I was drained. I, I don't, I mean, if you're, are you asking me what we should do? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, we have a flawed, we have a flawed document. It is not that it is not a sacred relic of, of, of uh, infallible people. It's a legal document. It gave us slavery. It gave us women not voting. It gave us um, uh, uh, an ambiguous phrase about uh, a well-regulated militia. That has since, you know, in Heller and other decisions, been interpreted to America's right to walk down the street with every kind of weaponry uh, uh, imaginable, regardless of who they are and, and their mental state. Uh, that document uh, leaves a vast room for sickness and failure and pain. And the capacity for us to amend it in any coherent way to prepare ourselves for, you know, every other country on the face of the earth that is that it has modernized and is democratized has figured this out and we are incapable we are just incapable so i mean i don't know what to tell you this morning i'm uh, this morning i am feeling like we're done we're done